Putting that, whoops, putting that tape in my pocket reminded me of, of putting that, oh my gosh. I know guys, this is the second week in a row that we haven't used the Mini 2s. Sorry about that, it's just the luck of the draw. Promise we're not going on the trend of ignoring the Mini 2s though. Oh gosh. I want to fly over this sod farm so bad. I wish I could grow grass like that. Our yard sucks. <laughs> Christy said I waited too long to come out here and film this video because now there's probably people out here eating lunch. I don't see anybody yet. Oh sweet. We're wide open guys. We got our privacy. Boom. There we are. Okay, well let me get Dwight and I want to tell you guys what this test is about. I got Dwight. I've been scolded a lot lately for being not safe and I don't think I've not been safe for any of the videos that we've done recently. I think I've been rather safe. But today what we're going to do is we're going to cover these sensors. <laughs> we're going to see what happens. Yeah. A long time ago we released a video where we had Jack with his sensors on the bottom that were covered. But today I understand that there is a way to shut these sensors off on the DJI Mini 4 inside the Fly app. Well, we got a comment a while back, and unfortunately, I cannot locate that comment anywhere. I don't know where it's at. But basically, they said, hey, since you did the DJI Mini 2, why don't you test the Mini 4? So, okay, <laughs> why not? Well, according to the UAV forecast app, we're good to fly. The way that we covered jack sensors last time was with this tape. Well, not this tape specifically, but a roll of tape just like this. But I don't think we're going to have to do that with Dwight today because there's that option. I just have to find it. So I'm going to roll this tape back up I am going to keep it in my pocket. It's in my pocket. It fits in my pocket. <laughs> hey, my pocket's big enough. Let me get out there. I'm going to find a place to set up the home point right across that culvert. <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to come back and retrieve Dwight and you guys. Well, maybe I'll take you with me. I'm still tempted to fly Jack underneath that culvert. Hello, culvert. Pretty cool area. I wonder if there's any gators in there. Check that out. You know there's a gator or two in there. All we got to do is set up this home point on the ground and get Jack ready. I'm sorry, get Dwight ready. Look at all them motorcycles over there. The landing pad has been set. Let's go get Dwight. Oh, hello. I didn't see you guys there. I thought the camera was facing the other way. I'm gonna turn on the controller. And I'm gonna turn on Dwight. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Screen recording is going. So now I just have to figure out which buttons to push to find this option. I would say, Personally, I think it's under the safety tab, but I have no idea where. So we'll just go to advanced safety settings and see if it's in here. And there it is. I found it that fast. I would never find something that fast in my life. How did that happen? When disabled, the aircraft relies only on GNSS to hover. Omnidirectional obstacle, home point's been updated. Omnidirectional obstacle sensing is unavailable and aircraft will not automatically decelerate during descent close to ground. Well, that's kind of scary, isn't it? So I guess what we need to do, hi buddy. I guess what we need to do is we need to do a control flight first. Are you good with the control flight? And then we'll do, we'll turn off the sensors and then we'll do the second test. And if worse, com worse comes to worse, if we have to use the tape, we'll even use the tape. So we might have three flights here. Are you having enough energy for three flights? I think you do. Let's get over there and see what trouble we can cause. We need to straighten out this home point here. All right, so we're gonna have Dwight sitting right there. Good boy. The first part of this test, we're just going to go out for a regular flight and we're going to hit return to home. We're going to do the precision landing thing. So we got to go up 21 feet or 22 feet in order for him to get that picture. And then we're going to fly out a couple hundred feet, hit return to home and see if he can land on his home spot. And then we're going to turn the sensors off and see if that plays a role in his accuracy. So let's get him up and going. Get him straight up in the air, 21, 22 feet. There we go. That's good enough. I'm gonna show you guys in the camera where he's at, right by the sun. <laughs> All right, let me get the camera back down onto the landing pad. I think he's had enough time to get his home point activated. So let's just uh, fly straight forward, go up in the air a little bit more. We're only gonna go out a couple hundred feet to test this out. So it shouldn't be too long of a flight. All right, so we're out 100 feet right now. Let me speed up a little bit. I don't wanna hit those trees though. All right, so we are, let's say 300 feet. We're 300 feet out, give or take. So I'm gonna hit return to home and we're gonna see how close he gets to that home spot. Return to home. All right, come on, bud. Oh, wow, he's going all the way up, it looks like. Wonder if I got him set in the uh, preset mode instead of optimal mode. He's flying back towards us. Pull the gimbal down a little bit. He's making a bunch of noise up there in the air. I think that it is turbulent up there for him. So he's right above us right now. Is he gonna turn his camera down? Come on, 
Turn your camera down. There you go. All right, so he's right above us right now. I want to see how close he is to this home point because uh, it's, I didn't see any wind whenever he took off, and it looked to me like he was uh, he was pretty steady. So he's coming straight down. Is he on the camera yet? There he is. And it looks like he's right on top of that home point. All right, bud. Zero it in. Get on that pad. We don't want you to get any dust in your motors. That looks perfect. All right, yeah, he's right in the middle. He's pretty much exactly where he took off. Perfect. Okay, now comes the Robert stupidity. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go to the three dots here. Hit three dots. I'm already at the uh, advanced safety setting page. I'm gonna turn that off. Whoops, what, what happened here? Advanced safety settings. Let me go back, I'll turn that off. How do you do that? All right, man, I'm not having a very, uh, very much luck here hitting that button. All right, turn off. Turn off the sensors. <laughs> Why is it not turning the sensors off? It's not sensitive. I get, there we go. All right, I got it now, finally. It says, when disabled, aircraft relies only on GNSS to hover. Omnidirectional obstacle sensing is unavailable, and aircraft will not automatically decelerate during descent close to ground. Exercise caution. Oh, here we go. I'm going to hit OK. <laughs> I wonder if he's going to have any of his sensors. So let's get him started here. I'm going to go straight up in the air 22 feet, see if he can get his... Uh, his picture. None of his sensors are on at this point, it looks like. It looks like they're all off. Let me hit that button up top. First of all, let me pull the camera up and show you where he's at. He looks very stable right there. I hope he's in frame. <laughs> but he looks very stable to me. Let me go back to the screen here and hit that little button up there. And it says all of the sensors are unavailable. So I turned all of the sensors off. I thought I was just turning off the sensors at the bottom. All right, so let's raise up in the air here. Obstacle avoidance is off. I think it's going to turn the obstacle avoidance sensors back on, though, when I hit return to home, isn't it? I think that I've seen that before somewhere. And I, I think it was Gavin HR that tried that uh, when the drone first came out. So let's raise up here um, 110 feet or so, so I can get above that tree. I guess 130 feet, 150 feet. And we'll just go out a couple hundred, few hundred feet. And I'm going to hit return to home. And I'm going to keep my eyes on that uh, red circle up top where it says the sensors are off. So let's hit return to home here. And now the sensors are back on. Let me see if the down sensors are down or on though. It says vision sensors are normal, so I'm assuming that that means the sensors facing down are also um, on. He's making the same noises up, up there that he was before. <laughs> he's hitting some turbulence. I'm pretty sure he's hitting some good turbulence up there. So now he's turning around and he's going to find his landing spot. Let's see how close he actually is. Come on, Dwight. Don't let us down. You can do it. wonder if he's going to crash into the ground. <laughs> he's looking good in the, in the camera here. And he's slowing down. So I think the sensors are on. The sensors do come back on. So is he going to be as accurate as he was? doesn't look like he's as accurate as he was. He's a little bit off of that pad. No, he's, he's correcting it. All but one leg is on that pad. Check that out. The only leg that's off the pad is the, is the, the uh, driver's side leg. <laughs> it's, it's barely off too, so that isn't bad. I would say that was a success. I don't know if it's because they turned the sensors back on for us, but let me go to the three dots here and check and see if that button has been, no, the button's still off. I got one more trick up my sleeve. Let's turn all these sensors back on and I'm gonna put some tape over those bottom sensors to see if he can take his picture and get his precision landing. <sighs> now I'm kind of nervous because I think that he needs those sensors. What do you guys think? <laughs> all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn these sensors back on here. There, I got those sensors turned back on. Let me go back to the main screen here. Let me get the tape out of my pocket and we'll get him all taped up. How much tape do you guys think we need? About that much? Okay. So I'm just going to put a piece of tape over the sensors right here. <laughs> I don't know if it's even going to stick. This, this might make him crash. I don't know. I hope not. Okay. So we got Dwight all taped up. I'm going to put him back on the landing pad and we're going to take off. Call me crazy, but I really think that he needs the sensors in order to get the picture for the precision landing. So if they're covered up totally, I don't think he's going to make it. I don't know. We'll see. All right, I'm going to start him. 
Get him raised up in the air. He's already moving. Oh, it says ambient light to low vision system, ob obstacle sensing unavailable. All right, well, let's, uh, let's get him up about 21 feet here. See if he can get that home point depicted. He's already off. If you guys can see, it's kind of like last week's video where he veered to the left because of the obstacle avoidance was um, trying to avoid the trees. But he's way left of that landing pad, so I have a feeling he's going to be landing somewhere around in there. But I'm not an expert, so I just don't know. <laughs> okay, we're going to raise him up 100 feet, give or take. The obstacle sensors are totally gone. It says that the, amp the, lights, the ambient light's too dark. So I think he thinks that he's flying at night, which this could be bad. I gotta really keep my eyes on him. All right, let's get out there 150, 200 feet. I don't wanna go out too far. <laughs> I want him to stay over this uh, field that we're in. All right, we're, we're over there far enough. Okay, this is the test. Let's hit return to home and see what happens. Return to home. All right, so he's got his line. I think he's gonna raise up to that 160 foot mark that he's preset at. He probably automatically goes into preset mode. Vision sensors blocked. Fly with caution, it says. This isn't good. I don't think I like this. But he is right over top of our heads right now. Almost. Look at the view that he's got from up that high. <laughs> All right, he is right over top of us. He's fixing to turn his camera down. I don't know how far or how close he really is, but it looks like he's pretty close to that home point. See, right now he's right over top of us coming down. Hopefully I got him in frame. He's gonna land in the dirt, I'm pretty sure. Are you gonna land in the dirt or are you gonna get on that pad? Dude, look at you. Oh, he bounced. <laughs> Did you guys see him crash? That was almost a crash, I guess, huh? Wow, that wasn't good. Well, he is off the pad a little bit, but it's not bad. He still has a pretty good sense of where his home is. I don't think he really enjoyed that landing too much. Are you mad at me? <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. I can promise you that I'll never tape your sensors up again, okay? We are gonna take this off. It's just like a Band-Aid. We're never gonna do that again. Well, we learned a couple of things today with Dwight. We learned that turning off the obstacle avoidance downward sensor turns everything off. However, when you hit return to home, the sensors come back on, so you're good to go. And it doesn't seem like turning that sensor off really messes too much with the precision landing. It's not perfect, but it's really, really close. However, when you put tape over the sensors and you totally block them off, that's a bad thing. You don't want to do that. My advice to you is don't do what I do. Just enjoy the video. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. God bless. I don't know why people say I do things that are unsafe. I think we had that pretty much under control.